Uh oh. It is Friday morning. The kids are having breakfast, so they're kind of loud. What else? Um, I'm going to sit down with them. I'm not hungry, so I just have some water. I'm going to sit with them while they eat and do my Bible study. Um, but I want to take you guys along with me because I have some fun things planned. Some just for me, some for the fam. Um, and then I also have some things coming in this weekend that I want to share with you guys. So um, let's hang out. We'll chit chat a little bit. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. Is it yummy? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna let them finish eating their breakfast. I'm gonna do my Bible study and then uh, we will go into a little bit more detail of what is going on this weekend. <gasps> done with my Bible study. I'm gonna leave that on the table just right now and I realize what time is it? It's only like 9 30 but um should should still be a decent time. I'm going to run outside really quickly and water my plants, my garden, put on some sunscreen because I really 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 need to start taking better care. Of my face ignore my hair that's gonna get taken care of today because I procrastinated long enough okay so the sunscreen is on we're going to head outside Woo! it is bow road my um, garden is not doing too great I mean it's not terrible but it could be better so I'm going to give it a little water love this is my first season of trying to start a garden, so um, I'm still learning, but this is how she's looking so far. So it's looking okay, my mint down there is looking pretty good. Um, honestly, I don't expect to harvest a whole lot this time around because of like the changing or me adjusting like the water and all of that learning how that works but I do still want to keep trying and keep practicing until you know I get it right I'm gonna try doing the water weight water method so I'm gonna water it right now really deeply um, and then I'll come back probably in a few minutes and give him another good water. We're in Texas. It does get really hot, especially especially now that summer is approaching. Oh my goodness, it gets hot. I don't I don't even like being outside. So, and then I have these um, pallets that um, I am also going to use for the garden. I just don't know how yet. And I also don't know if I want to go ahead and set up shop right here because it's so close to the front yard. Our backyard, we don't have like a fence or anything yet. And our dog usually goes back there and she'll like eat the plants and stuff. And I really, really, really do not want her eating my plants. So I'm going to bring the kiddos down. We're going to do a little bit of school. Um, I also have Best Buy coming by today. Um, so. Quick little story time. We had issues with the TV connecting to the Wi-Fi. Um, like every time I would turn on the TV, it just it would just keep saying that it wasn't connecting to the Wi-Fi, and then it would connect, but it would just be for a second, and then it would go back to like no network or whatever, right? So we have Total Tech with Best Buy, and we had um, then they we had them come out and take a look at the TV, and so. The guy took a look, um, he ordered some parts, he came back, and when he came back, he came back with a helper. Well, they, they replaced the parts, they replaced a couple of the boards, but when they went to um, put the TV back, um, that happened. <laughs> so the helper was on this side, and I guess like she was like, I don't know, maybe like digging her fingers in a little bit. But yeah, so they cracked my screen the screen on the TV. So he goes, yeah, so you're just going to give me a TV. <laughs> I was like, okay. 
And so I went through the process of calling their um, replacement um, department. And another really cool blessing, um, a, a prayer, prayer report right now, is that she, she goes, um, what did she say? So this TV we paid $11.99 for. And so she was trying to get that exact price, but this TV is an 82 inch. And she was like, uh, we don't make 82 inches anymore and there's nothing in that same category that we can replace it with. And so I was like, okay, well, what are my options? And so she was like, we can get you a, um, I don't know if it was like a smaller TV or what it was, but basically she was saying that you know they could replace the tv with something either smaller or slightly bigger but basically around the same price range but what she was trying to avoid was the fact that in in their system the the key code uh, as far as refunding or or giving me like a store credit instead of just replacing the tv instead of getting 11.99 back i would get 16.99 <laughs> so she was really trying to like find a tv solution um, to exchange instead of um, get, giving me the store credit. Um, so after I was like, no, I would rather just get the store credit. She was like, okay, well, it looks like you're going to get $16.99 back. And I was like, great. <laughs> so um, we had a, yeah, we had enough money. So uh, me and the kiddos went up to Best Buy. We looked at the, the TVs and we had enough to get yeah hold on let's go do school we had enough to do um to purchase the tv and um get a tv mount so that it's actually on the wall and not on the tv stand and um i had enough to purchase this fan right here uh which i wanted to get because it's about to be summertime and i don't like being hot what else um and because we have total tech, they can come out here and mount it on the wall for us. So they're supposed to be coming by today sometime between 10 and noon, but they haven't given me the call yet. So I don't think that they're on their way just yet. But yeah, so that's what's happening. Total tech, not total tech, I think it's just Best Buy, but Best Buy will be by in a little bit to switch out these TVs. And the cool thing is now, since they replaced those boards on this one, the TV works just fine now. It's just the crack. So I'm thinking we may put this in the boys' room or put it somewhere else, but because they're not exchanging it, they're, I, I still keep this TV. <laughs> I still keep this TV and I get a new, new one. If we were to exchange it, they would take this TV away and just give me the other one. But I don't know, man, God is so good. That, that turned out to be an amazing blessing, so. All right, you guys ready for school? Yeah. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to start with school. Yes, sir. No toys. Go put them away. Hello, Josiah. Hurry up. Hello, Josiah. Not in your desk. Hello, Josiah. Uh, you can put it on mommy's desk. It's time to start with school. Z, not on your desk. Yeah. Hello, Z. Come on. Put your toy away, please. Hello, Z. Come on, put it away. You need help? Saya. Look, will you help your sister? Hello, Z. It's time to start with school. Pick it up. Nope, pick it up. Hello, Genesis. Say, excuse me, Genesis. Hello, Genesis. Hello, Genesis. Pick up the truck. It's time to start with school. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. It's time to start with school. Yay! It's school time! Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Go. There's Sunday and there's Monday. Wait. You're, you're supposed to be over there already. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. No, it's Zeke's turn. Days of the week. 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 Ready? There's Sunday. No, there's. <laughs> Come on. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. 
Days of the week. Yay! Okay. Do you know what today is? I don't know. Today is Friday. Friday. Can you go point to Friday? Which one says Friday? Friday. Good job. That one says Friday. All right, point to Friday. All right, which what is what is tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is the So go down. What does that say? What what? It's 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 S. Okay, so what sound is that? Two S's. There are two S's. That one is. Look look at the letters. That one is Sat. Sat. So what what day is that? Sat. Saturday. Saturday. Good job. Mm -hmm. So go back. What's today? Today is. Friday. Zeke, do you want to draw? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Wait, I want to draw. Here is your drawing book. Here is your pen. All right, so I get your book out. Um. Yes, we have to do our book, okay? Hey, what if I want to do? Remember who wrote your name yesterday? Oh. All right, we're going to write a new letter today. New letter today? Yes. What color do you want to write with? Um. Blue is so Blue. Blue today? So first, you're going to make your circle. You're going to start at the purple. Here, you make your circle. And then you're going to do a line and go all the way down. Start with your, start at the purple. And you're gonna do a circle. But yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. You gotta hold your book so it'll stay still, okay? Okay. And then you see these dots up here? You gotta go up. You see this dot over here? Come up here. Start at that dot and go all the way down. It was, um... mm -hmm. Good job, big boy. Yeah. All right, Zeke, you ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with your numbers. Ready? One. Two. Two. Look. Three. Three. Four. Five. Five. Eight. Six. Six. Seven. seven eight, eight. Nine. Eight, ten. ten. Good job. Mmm. 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 kiddos are going back and forth between watching veggie tales and playing in the schoolroom. So I'm going to clean the kitchen a little bit before Best Buy gets here and I need to start. So if you haven't been paying attention to my Instagram story, you should go follow me on Instagram first of all. Second of all, um, I plan on DIYing most of Genesis birthday party that's coming up and that includes making the cookies, the sugar cookies and the cake myself so um today i'm going to do some more practicing i'm gonna bake some cookies and test out icing uh i found the perfect or what i feel like is the perfect um flavor for the cookie and the icing and together so now i just gotta practice like my piping and all of that so um that's what i'm gonna do to do right now and hopefully tame some of these fights
So it is currently almost 11.30. Um, that's why it hasn't come by just yet. I realized that I'm really hungry. So I decided to throw in some frozen empanadas that I made a few weeks ago um, into the fryer. I'm gonna eat that for my lunch. So that's the only thing that's missing. It still tastes decent, but next time I would definitely for sure add the tomatoes. So Ramon had to take a quick, I say quick, it's gonna take him all day to do it, but um, had to take a quick trip to um, Laredo to do a load. So although we did get to see him yesterday, today we are mainly not gonna see him. He's gonna get in tonight. Um, I don't know if it, it'll be before or after the kiddos get in bed. Um, but then um, he'll have the kiddos all weekend. So I'm kind of making it, I guess, I guess like as, as baby four getting closer, I'm really trying to, um, you know, do some of the things that I'm really, in, I really enjoy. Not because I feel like I'm going to be missing out or like that my kids like keep me from doing fun stuff. It's just I want to. I want to kind of enjoy, you know, this season because the next season, which will him be a newborn, it'll be a lot of adjusting, and I want to take all of that in. I want to um, learn what works for baby four and all of that, um, and just really take in the fact that I, I love I love when they're little. I do. I love nursing. I love um, you know teaching them when they're little and all of that. So. I'm excited for it, but I also want to, you know, it's like it's balancing. I also want to enjoy this season where he's not quite here, like in my arms just yet. So I can do some of the things that I want to do before he gets here. And then after he gets here, you know, just adjusting to what, what that looks like for us as a family. Now that my empanadas have cooled just a little bit. Sometimes I put the sauce on the actual banana. Sometimes I'll take a bite and just like. <laughs> my mamita, my grandma, she makes hand, hands down the best in bananas. I'm trying to live up. I feel like I'm getting closer, so I guess it's a good thing. Soon the, the kiddos are gonna go to bed. Take a nap. Even if they don't nap, we use it as a quiet time. So I know as they get older, they're less likely to be taking naps in the afternoon. So, um, but we still practice quiet time as well. So even if they're not taking a nap, they're in their room, they're playing or reading or doing whatever quietly. Yummy? Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. uh. Kids are down for their nap, or at least in their room, playing fairly quietly. So, I'm going to go ahead and put together this concoction to put on my hair to deep condition. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, and these are all, like I said, these are all ingredients that, um, these are all ingredients that I have in my kitchen. Um, basically some mayo, um, honey, an egg. 
I put, um, last time I used olive oil, this time I put in avocado oil. And then the only thing that I'm, the only other thing that I'm going to add is uh, my Baskin Lather scalp stimulator oil. Actually, when Shimon and I first moved into the neighborhood, there was a neighbor that had a ton, like a box full of sample um, hair oils. And so she was just giving them away. And so I went and I picked them up. So I still literally have a whole box of, this one is the Bio Silk, Silk Therapy with organic uh, coconut oil. And then I also have this box. And these are all just like little sample sizes, but it's a ton of them. This one is the Chi Aloe Vera with the Gabe Nectar Curls Defined. I think because I am wanting to straighten my hair, I'm gonna use the silk, the bio silk, and add that, add some of this oil as well. I'm gonna start using these. So, okay, so I'm gonna put this in my hair. I also changed my shirt to something that, you know, I could part with if I needed to. It has been a little over a week since I did my hair. And she is definitely crusty and needs a little TLC. huge as that bowl was I'm almost out of the conditioning so I think I did a fairly good job of measuring out how much I needed because I did need a lot like I said I'm one of those people that like to lather it on there I don't like for it to like my hair to still feel dry even with the deep conditioning on it and my hair it's really, really dry, really fast. All of all of my kiddos were all like that. And I don't know if that plays a part as to why our hair does not grow very fast or what, but it definitely almost done. It definitely um, does not hold in moisture very easily. So that's also the downside to when I straighten my hair is um I can quickly jump from it having moisture and being moisturized to it being really dry and then the only way to put moisture is to put some kind of oil or something and then it makes my hair look oily. So this is what the bowl looks like now, completely empty. And I'll go ahead and change my shirt so they don't look at me like I'm crazy. This is my go-to hair scarf. I use it usually mainly to um, dry my hair. Okay, so Best Buy is here with the new TV and the mount and all of that, so. The camera makes it look a lot smaller, but this TV is huge, in my opinion. I, I've i never been a huge TV person, so I can never tell if it's like, you know. But it looks nice. It looks so much better that it's not sitting on the, um, on the TV stand. 
and I like that the mount that we got is the one where you can like adjust the TV like you can pull it in and out and kind of tilt it and stuff so cool Shimon's gonna be so excited kid and candy store he's about to turn into I'm loving this like cute little tech savvy remote although I'm certain that I'm going to lose this either myself or the kiddos so I'm not excited about the fact that it's so slim means that it can like hide in more places all right finished washing and conditioning my hair as you can see the shrinkage is real but it's okay it always looks so so fairly defined after I put like the mayo and stuff in it so um, I'm actually really liking it but I'm still gonna straighten it anyhow so I went over here and um, I think I'm gonna do the roller set I'm just gonna wing it and hope for the best because this time I really would like a little bit more volume in my hair so um, that is what I'm about to do now and Shimon just dropped a new video so I'm going to sit and listen to the video and watch little snippets while I finish my hair since the kiddos are still asleep and then when they wake up put them on the couch with some popcorn and sit under the blow dryer that is the plan I'm seriously tired already <laughs> and all I've done is parted my hair I don't know if I'm gonna get through this so I have my center Hoping that's not too thick, but Whoa. we'll see in a minute. I need a nap. <laughs> I didn't do the best job, but you know, it's done. Really sit on the hair dryer and then hopefully let the uh, flat iron do, do, do some repair work. <laughs> Testing out some new shapes and I'm gonna let Shy try my sugar brown sugar cookie batter. So let's see how this goes. Okay, it is the next day and I'll turn this air off. Um, it is the next day and I did not like the way that the roller wrap turned out. It did not look good in my opinion. So um, I ended up blow drying it out and um, straightening it all over again, kind of the way that I usually would. So um, this is how it came out. After having um, roller wrapped it and then re-flat ironed it, it's okay. Obviously it does not look great, but it'll get me through a little while. Um, so I was gonna take the kiddos with me to the store, but Shimon insisted to let me have a little time to myself. So I am going to, um, it's hard. <laughs> I'm trying to focus and do this at the same time. So I'm going to go run a few errands by myself pick up lunch um, on the road and get some stuff done. So, um, I said before that I am basically DIYing most of Genesis birthday parties. So, one of the stops that I have to make today is Home Depot to get some material for a possible sign. And I'm probably going to have to go to um, the Dollar Tree as well and see what they have as far as like gifts and stuff that I can put in their gift bags but or even bags themselves I realize I don't have bags either so we'll see let's see what they have and go from there but definitely have to at least do my brows and put on my sunscreen because these this hyper pigmentation is not messing around and it's summertime actually I need to let that dry just for a little bit so when I stop and get my lunch, I'll do my brows. But the hyper pigmentation is like terrible. I'm tempted to, I've done chemical peels before. I've only done two before. Um, they weren't back to back. So it was 
you know it, it didn't give me i mean it gave me some results but it didn't like clear everything up and part of me i'm tempted to like actually just go into a dermatologist's office and see if there's something that they can prescribe or whatever that i can do that a little bit more consistently than going in to get chemical peels um but i don't know like i'm i'm not super familiar with um with a like the dermatologist's office so I don't even know if that's like something that they can give me or if they would just recommend that I get, get chemical peels so either way I don't usually have like active acne it's just I don't like I, I've over the years I've been terrible about putting on my sunscreen and um, just really taking care of my face when it gets really sunny out and hot and you know whatever really the buildup came with Genesis so my body just our hormones just clashed is basically what that was and I just like broke out like crazy and it's it's it, that's honestly that's how I knew that I was having a girl because with both of the boys everyone was like oh man your face is glowing it looks so great yeah yeah and then Genesis comes around and I remember my dad being like what's wrong with your face <laughs> I'm like okay thanks that's that's the best way that you could possibly put that but yeah so um with her I definitely had a lot of acne hormonal acne whatever and then with baby four again my face is like I don't break out or anything it's just still the aftermath of um the the old acne and the hyperpigmentation so I just got to figure out what to do what's the best route for that because if they do recommend that I get chemical peels then I'm going to wait until maybe September October to start them and just do them regularly until it's gone because obviously I don't want to do it when it's like super sunny out and I'm, I know from time to time I'm going to be outside so all right let's go get lunch and then off to our I want to say chores no our errands thank you All right, can you see? I've made it. Can you see? Can you see that? Can you? No. There we go. Made it to the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go in here, see what they have for possibly party favors for Genesis' birthday. And then I need to make um, like one of the little photo sign thingies. So I'm going to see if they have the material for that in here too. Yay! Y'all, it is so hot. It is so hot today. Oh my gosh. But I'm so excited. I saw so, I found so many really, really, really cool things for her party. Um, when we get back to the house, I should say me, when I get back to the house, I'm going to show you everything. But I found some really great stuff that fit so well with her party theme. I'm so excited. I'm just leaving those. It's like three hours later. I had to put my hair up because I was sweating so much. I quickly learned that home goods stores or home improvement stores are not my thing. <laughs> but I got what I needed. I'm so excited. It is Sunday morning and I got quite a lot done yesterday. But um, because of how many different errands I had to run, I didn't record all of it. But I am going to record today because I'm so excited. Um, and I'll show you and kind of recap the things that I got done yesterday. So right now I'm just making breakfast for Shimon and the kiddos because in about 45 minutes or so, I have got to head out. So I've got an event that I'm going to this afternoon. I'm having lunch with my sister-in-law and it's going to be a really fun day. So I'm so excited. So right now I've got some, some eggs going. And then I've got some pancakes over there. And then the kiddos are going to have fruit. Sean can probably use some fruit too, but he probably will probably just stick to the eggs and the pancakes. I also made sure to go ahead and get some more syrup when I went to the store because I'm out. I was out of the regular syrup and the kiddos have been eating... Uh, with my maple syrup and maple syrup is not cheap like I, I that's 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 mommy's syrup okay <laughs> so trying to figure out what I want to wear when I'm pregnant is so difficult 
because my options are so limited and I'm not the kind of person where I really don't like going shopping as it is um ever since like I started having kiddos and gaining weight and all of that right so um shopping while I'm pregnant is like even worse because it's like I don't want to spend the money on something that's only gonna really last me a short period of time and then I get pregnant again <laughs> um okay so let's see going to something somewhat fancy let me see if this looks decent in my I'm gonna try this cute little dress see how that looks I may or may not show you I don't know depends on how I feel I'll try that now let me just do my oversized shirt I don't know we'll see I'm sorry that Okay, so this one is not going to work. Let's see. Um, let's see. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I feel like it's a little short. Okay, I'm going with option three. I don't have shoes on yet. I'm going with option three. I didn't show you option two because. All right. This is the look, <laughs> omit the eye patches. This is the look I decided to go with today. These are the shoes I decided to wear. Let me try to catch my balance, ready? Boom, that's what I'm doing today. Take these off, get in the car, start my makeup because I'm like right on time and I don't wanna be late. So that's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and get in the car before I am late. Officially in the car and heading that way to meet my sister in law. I have really, really, really thin brows, so I usually have to use this um, control, this NYX control freak um, on my brows to kind of get them to liven up a little bit, you know. So kind of shape them upward and out because like I said they're like they're like really really thin and I would like for them to be a little bit more full I'm not a professional at this I'm still like learning even what works for me but for now um, my kids are waving at me <laughs> for now I'm going to attempt to make the best out of currently I'm working with, so, okay, let's have the best day! I finally made it to the parking garage, and I'm going to meet my, my sister-in-law downstairs, and we're going to ride to the um, restaurant together. to start but I will say first impressions these stairs are steep <laughs> I was like getting anxious walking down the steps to get to our seats like freaking out I really was yeah it takes a while to get used to it yeah <laughs> Wicked was seriously so much better than I thought it was gonna be. It was so, 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 so good. I love the music. I loved just going to the theater in general. I love the storyline. I loved how it intertwined with um, um, The Wizard of Oz, like, you know, the actual movie or play or whatever. I love how it, like, it all intertwined and it just made sense and it was, the acting was great. The music was amazing. I loved it. I would definitely do it again in the future. Me and my um, sister-in-law went to a restaurant called Culture. 
and although it was really good it was a little bit more expensive than I would have liked to have um, spent lunch so I got the French toast and I'll insert a clip but I got the French toast and it was $22 and for $22 I would have at least liked to have some eggs and potatoes or something with it too but it was so good it was so yummy I just that would definitely be like a super special occasion for me to justify spending $22 on bread good morning it is Monday it's Monday morning and I'm exhausted. I did not sleep last night, guys. I I think sometime around two this morning, I woke up. I, I was trying to rotate my body and like lay on my left side. And I had this terrible, terrible sharp pain on my lower right abdomen. And y'all, it just like knocked me out for a few minutes. Shimon, was, Shimon woke up and tried to help me sit up or you know get in a position that was a little more comfortable but it, it was like so much pain um that I, I i moving moving and sitting still just neither felt like a good option so it took a little while for the pain to kind of die down um but then after that i stayed up for a little bit just trying to wake up baby just to make sure that everything was okay I mean that I could feel him and luckily you know uh, it didn't take him very long but then after that it was just it felt impossible to go back to sleep so I don't think I went back to sleep until maybe like five this morning and then Shimon left this morning around six um uh, to kind of get a, a good a good start on his load that he already has on him um and then the kiddos woke up around 7 30 so i did not i did not get a decent amount of sleep last night so i'm gonna do let me just wash my face try to get myself into somewhat of a mental space i'm also gonna go ahead and put on some clothes for the day because i have a really bad habit of staying in my pajamas all day so i'm trying to avoid that are actually putting clothes on. Let's use my eye mask. Eyes are always super dark, kind of puffy in the morning. So we're gonna try to combat that. Let's try my regular black and gray. <laughs> yep, good old faithful black and gray. This is what we're doing today. I'm gonna clean this mirror. <laughs> Go get another one. I actually really enjoy eating the honey bunches of oats with almonds. So that's what I'm gonna have this morning. All right, table is already a mess. I'm having breakfast with the kiddos. Did you have a good sleep? Mommy, 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 I'm so tired. And then after that, I think I'm going to do my first project, which is replanting my houseplants that are over there. See? Yeah, so I'm gonna replant those um, after I kind of straighten up the kitchen a little bit.
Okay, so the kiddos probably within the next hour are going to go take a nap. And because I didn't get the best sleep last night, I think I'm gonna take one with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first project, which is repotting my plant, some, most of my plant babies. All, all of them but one today will be repotted. So, yay! give her plenty of space to where she can kind of grow. We'll see if that works. But first I gotta clean the pot because it came kind of dirty. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit while I figure out how I wanna do this. some water see how the soil looks after and if I need to add some more soil I'm going to do that okay the kids are done for their nap and um, I said that I was going to take a nap with them so it gives me just a little bit of time to finish what I'm doing here 
and go lay down if I want to get at least a decent nap with them. But I have watered my Monstera and um, I checked the the bottom to see if any there was like excess water and it was only maybe like a drop or two so I feel like it's fairly well saturated. Um, and my plan is to place this where I want and then just leave it for a couple weeks to adjust to the new pot, the slight difference in sunlight. So I had it over here in the window for the longest time, but because I have a stand and I want to kind of break up the spots that I'm putting all of my plants, I think I'm going to sit it over there in that corner. So this is the bottom of me. This is the one that I'm moving. I'm going to sit right by yonder. All right. How'd she look? I'm loving. I'm loving, loving, loving. Yay! Now, the other thing I want to do before I actually make the name plates is open up the um, the hanging planter planters. Um, I'm thinking, at first I was going to try putting them in the office um, or in the schoolroom, but I'm thinking I'm just going to hang them up here and then I'm going to hang one over here like in this corner. So we're going to see how that looks. <sighs> Okay, so now that what's left, um, I actually didn't end up using that because it was easier getting the nail part into the wall without drilling. So for the other three, I'm just going to do basically that same thing. Um, now these three hang like, like that. So I'm trying to figure out how exactly, and I got some extenders in case I wanted some to be a little bit longer, but I don't think I will. I think these are fairly long. So I may save these for another boho project. I feel like I may have enough, I feel like I may have enough to at least repot the smallest one. So I'm tempted to at least do that one and have that one hanging for now. And then when I get the other two bags, I can, focus on replanting the other two, three, sorry, the other three. All right, so this is me. This is after I've put up the hooks for the um, other three boho hanging plants. What I did to try to get as close to even as possible is I measured, obviously, this length and sorry from there to there oh. and it turned out to be um seven feet so um i divided that by four because it gives you three lines for you know if you do if you divide a paper by four it'll give you three lines so i um divided it by four and it was about 21 inches so at every 21st inch is when i um put a little mark and then just screwed it in like I did the other one. And so now I'm just gonna see how I want to hang. I was able to actually repot two of them. So I'm gonna at least hang those two and see you know, how I, how I feel. And then that just leaves me with two more at some point that I need to repot. So yay. And then <clears throat> this pot, the smallest one was actually too small for any of my current plants. So I'm just going to have to go shopping and find something itty bitty for right now that I can put in this one to hang in that third spot. I love guys. And then I'm going to probably either put the little one there. That one might be a little short, so I may move whenever I get the little plant. I'll probably move the big one in the middle and move the little one to that one. But yeah. I love it. Okay, so now I've got to focus on is getting a pot for these two and figuring out where I want to put them. I seriously knew that this was going to happen. I knew that as soon as they fell asleep, 
I was gonna get that burst of energy to get like stuff done because they're asleep and I can focus. And now it's already been an hour into their nap time, which they usually can nap anywhere between two, two and a half, three hours, somewhere around there, right? But yeah, so now it's a little bit over an hour in and I'm just now sitting down having my lunch. So I highly doubt I'm gonna get my nap in. And if I do, it's gonna be a power nap. So I'm going to work on the little name tags, watch a little Netflix, and eat my sandwich that I made for lunch until they get up. It's been quite a day. I am very much exhausted. Um, and I really don't wanna do anything other than straighten up the kitchen and curl up in my bed. Oh my gosh. But I really need to, I've been really wanting to um, play around with um, some icing colors. So I wanna make a, I wanna try a different recipe for the royal icing. So, and I still have some left over, so I want to use what I have left over just to test out my colors. And then tomorrow, make some new icing. Good morning. Mommy. Mommy. Mm -hmm. You can get down. Yes. Good morning. You can get up whenever you're ready. You want waffles this morning? Yeah, let's eat waffles. Remember, I didn't get waffles. breakfast, okay? This is how you get that beautiful butter or beautiful crust on the end of your pancakes. Good job, baby. Stop. 
Yeah. Mm, just a little bit more time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's more My weight on this. Look at all. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Tuesday. Tuesday morning and as you saw the kiddos have eaten. Bo has eaten. Um, I, usually I'm not hungry in the morning um, but I will drink some water just to kind of pacify. Like I feel hungry but after I drink some water I'm usually not uh, in the mood for like food food. So um, we are about to do our homeschooling and then, I mean, we don't really have anything planned today, so I'm gonna try to work on my cookies, let the kiddos just kind of run around a little bit today. And that is our, that's most likely gonna be our Tuesday. Let's do this. So we were going to do homeschooling, but we went over to walk into the homeschooling room and there was a wasp. There was a wasp in our homeschooling room and I don't play with wasp. I don't play with wasp, I don't play with bees, I don't play with roaches. Go play. Why did you stop? Go play. Um, but now I cannot see it and I cannot find it. So um, I went ahead and called our um, pest control people. They're going to come out tomorrow and spray again because, like I said, I do not. I don't play when it comes to flying bugs. <laughs> like, I, I can tolerate grasshoppers because you know they they do more jumping and hopping than anything but when they fly mm -mm -mm, that's a big no-no for me so i'm just going to let the um kiddos play upstairs until maybe nap time um or until i decide if, if i want to do something else with them or if i catch the wasp and i can like the only thing is i don't have wasp spray so I mean, I don't even know if I did see it, what I could do about it. Anyways, Genesis, stop. <laughs> stop it, you weirdo. You want a sandwich? Yeah. Kids woke up from their nap, so now it's time for me to make sandwiches. Um, they usually eat just a peanut butter sandwich. They don't actually like jelly on theirs, so I think I'm going to just do that. What? Can you clean it? Yeah. You need a napkin? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay, go clean it. And uh, I'm going to work on my icing. I think I want to do that today. Is work on my, try the new recipe for the icing and then um, practice my, my decorating. So that's what I'm going to do today. Kiddos are in bed and I am about to straighten up first. Um, thankfully, I, I don't have a huge load of, of dishes to do, um, or at least to put in the dishwasher, but I am going to um, go ahead and ice my cookies tonight. I want to show you guys. So here, actually, let me turn it around. So here are my colors. That's how they came out. I'm actually very, very, very impressed. They look really good. So we're gonna see how piping goes. Um, also, the bags are different. I see a lot of air bubbles, but 
it is what it is um the bags are different from what i was using before so i'm excited to see if that changes my piping as well but i'll show you guys when i'm done the finished products Yes, sir. What's the matter? All right, clean it up. I feel like for the most part, today's going to be... You made the mess, you clean it up. Get a napkin. Okay, like I was saying, I think today is going to be a fairly um, chill at home day. Is <laughs> this fun? <laughs> <laughs> 